Right. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been <laughs> apart. Yeah. 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 But here's the problem with that. That red table talk that she did. When that was that? Took, two years ago? That took years place ago? T- about two to three years ago. You I, know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad marriage for life. (laughs) (laughs) And this is a thing that toxic women do, changing the narrative so that it's convenient for her and she doesn't look like the bad person here. Her stock was based on Will Smith's stock. Will Smith's stock. So even though she doesn't love him, she has to stay, stay there because guess what? Without Will Smith, you're not invited to the Oscars. Yeah. You're not going. They don't. Yeah. You're a C-list celebrity. You're Will yeah. Smith's plus one. That's what you are. Yo, what's up, Square Baby Gay? On this episode, we talk about why Jada Pinkin is the devil. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I did not see that coming. Why she is saying, yeah, guys, we're going we're gonna to break it down. Why she is an awful, toxic human being or Satan, whichever one you want. Why? And also, why it's all partly Will Smith's fault. Why it really Absolutely. is Will Smith's fault. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Yo, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The Sexual Revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Again, this is just a family, but first and foremost, Harry, what's popping me? Oh, Dante, man, I'm living the good life. I couldn't be happier. The only way I could be happier is if I was a lawyer living right next to Jada Pinkett Smith's house. Uh, I'm living a good life. We might as well get into it. It is a story that everybody is talking about. We had to get into this. We We have no choice. But I think we're going to give a different perspective that not everyone's given. But let's let's break a more helpful take. But let's (laughs) let's get into what's what's gone down. Uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, the wife uh, or well, I don't even know if we can call her that anymore, depending on who you ask now. Of, of legally still legal legally wife, but go ahead so we legally go. just not emotionally anyway and all, all the ways Portably, that matter or yeah anyway in between that uh she's releasing a memoir now and she did a sit-down interview with uh i guess dateline somebody on it right NBC right with well, hoda she's doing she's actually doing the whole run like was she, that in 2016 you and will decided that you were going to live completely mm. separate lives yes. it was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was right. a divorce. Right. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been <laughs> apart. Yeah. 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 But here's the problem with that. Um, that was six years ago. Mm. Uh, number one, the number of appearances they made, 2016, about six, uh, seven years ago. Seven. Um they have made numerous appearances together they not red, only that red, red carpet together hugging yeah. kissing the family has been seen together every premiere know. together but not only that they were on the that red talk that red table talk that she did when that was that took, two years ago that took place t- about two to three years ago i believe right. it was about 2020 2021 yeah. okay that is less than than six years ago yeah so and three three is less then six, right? Yeah. Listen, I'm yeah. not a I'm not a math wizard, Dante. But <laughs> I'm forgive me. Not a me. nuclear physicist, but uh, I'll yes. guess that it three falls within. Definitely, like I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Yeah. I just use my calculator. So okay. Well, th- I so th- here's the what she's doing here is just changing the narrative so that it's convenient for her and she doesn't look like the bad person here. It's yeah. it's it's absurd. We th- like. And this is a thing that toxic women do, and I believe she is a toxic person based on her behavior through this situation and other situations, the situation right. uh, on the red table. She, because, again, she did it during those red table talks, by the way. Remember, yes. she, she was using the word entanglement to describe. Yes. Where he literally was crying, watered, tears watered up, eyes watered up during the red table talk. Uh, supposedly seven years, uh, well, three years or four years after they supposed to have been split. Split, you know. yeah, split up. And and 
in that conversation, they're talking about being married, but she used the word entanglement. So she just changes the narrative to when, whenever it's convenient for her. Yeah. And it's absurd. And she, like, like we didn't see it. Like, we're all not aware that you two were an item. You're there at the Oscars. Yeah. She goes, there's, there's another statement that she makes, which is really nuts that I want to wanna get into. Uh, let me find that one. Hold on. Let me okay. pull that up. And let's see, uh, because there's a two-part interview here. Let, let's keep in mind the entanglement of her sleeping with August's August, which was Jaden's best friend that mm. she's sleeping with him, because she says that she was she was so into healing people. She she's just so attracted to healing people that she figured by by giving them the old boinking. Right. That yeah. that would somehow heal him. In a well, way. that'll heal you. Don't 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 yeah. be mistaken. That does do a lot of healing. That's the now the thing about even that I'll give the benefit of the doubt of that in the sense that Will and her the way they talked about it. They were separated at the time right. in 20, uh, 2020. They said they were separated in 2016. But don't call it uh, what is what it is an entanglement. It's. You had a physical relationship with this guy. Right, right. So, you, um, uh, hold, was on. hold on. Dante. You let... So let's, I want to see this other clip here that we talk about that. Uh... After Chris made a crack about Jada's hair. I could tell it bothered you. You, you did an eye roll. Like... Right. Mm. Would you? Yeah. And I did that eye roll not so much for me. Mm. And I think this right, is of course really not. important. But the fact that there could be a jab at alopecia. Because mm. you're here on a profane right. tirade, She's warning Chris not but to But this is the part we've seen name. this. But this is the part Jada that's interesting here. Believe yeah. what she was hearing. She couldn't believe what she was what hearing. What is going on now? First of all, I'm really shocked because, mind you, I'm not there. We haven't called each other husband and wife yeah. in a long time. Mm. I'm like. What is going on I right keep now? My wife's, wife's name. name out of your yes. mouth, yes. right? And I'm yes. like, but now I'm really worried for Will because I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can what tell. You so worried. hold on. A long time. We haven't called each other husband and wife in a long time. Uh, the table talk, the red table talk, takes place on July 10th, 2020. Okay. And let's go to that just to show you something. Let's go to that. Bad marriage for life. <laughs> ah, there we go. Bad marriage for life. <laughs> husband. That when, 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 somebody, somebody. when somebody's your in a bad marriage, that would make them your husband, correct? Right. That, that would be your husband. That's how you define a marriage. A union. In a union together. Mm. But um and I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. Um I'll give you that petty. <laughs> If that's what you want. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Whatever they want to do there. Um, but, you know, I will definitely say. He's in tears. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just it's part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for life. life. <laughs> <laughs> ho, 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 ho. So funny. Uh, he's he first of all i didn't realize that he is like in tears which oh, you is not, are you the, you didn't know he was it, it was I, worse than this before it's been a while since i watched it because again yeah. it was uh 2020 which by my count is three years ago not six um but just the that is not that is a couple that is married you're talking yeah. about marriage 26 years and counting bad marriage for life you are not and she says, hey, we were divorced. We were not divorced. We were separated. We had been seeing, living separate lives. You are lying. You right. were not living you separate are lying. lives. You are lying because we, because, and if you were lying, if you weren't lying, right? If you, Well, it can't be if you weren't lying because the bottom line is you lied to everybody. You lied to the public. And again, let's talk about a little, I don't know, a little, little word starts with an A, which is authenticity. Mm. You're a liar. You want and now you're writing this book and you want the sympathy of people. Now, let me let me explain a little something about Jada Pinkett, what Jada Pinkett's image was. Um, 
especially in the black community, Jada Pinkett was what we call the 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 the, the, the sis. She was like one of the sisters. You know what I mean? Like mm. Erica Badu. Like like this is one of the black women that we respect. Because she holds herself with a sense of class and grace that, you know, she's not the chick that you would holler at and then mm. go and then go when she doesn't respond back. You go, bitch. You know what I mean? That Not that you should ever do that. But I'm you just she she just held herself in such grace. She's the type of um, the type of woman that would go. You guys, y'all, you know, y'all, you guys taking care of your ladies, right? Yes, Jada. She was the 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 sort of uh, how should I put it? The the hold on, let me close this door. The um, she was literally woman the woman that that held that kind of grace that we would hold high a high status, know? high status royalty, so to speak, or you know, power yeah, couple. She, yeah, she's not talking about my my pussy's pink and my booty hole yeah. brown. She's not that ratchet joint. There's a certain air of respect wakanda-esque kind of mm. feel that we gave and then and so with this has really we see her in a different light because she's a funky ass bitch that's how we look mm. at her now. she's a funky ass bitch and just toxic beyond all levels of perception of what the black community had in the first place and the thing that bothers me most uh you know is that this is a thing that, uh, you know, if you've ever experienced dealing with a toxic woman, a woman who doesn't take responsibility for her actions, she is changing the narrative whenever it suits her. Right. right so right. so now they're not together. We, we've, we haven't been together in seven years. Never mind the fact that we've appeared together at all these events. Never mind the fact that we did an interview where we talk about working on our marriage, saying that it's marriage for life. So here we're in a situation where we hold this woman with so much so much regard and then she ends up just being a funky ass bitch. So well because what, that's the image that she had portrayed. Right. You know I that and that thanks to uh Will Smith's help by the way because of his status and there's a couple questions that you have to figure out why Will Smith continued why Will Smith continued to stay with her, why she stays with Will Smith, why they haven't gotten divorced. She has some answers for that and I don't believe it. There's a level. So this is an interesting thing about what a lot of women say, especially black women say that men are not there to protect them, that where there's no protection for black women and this is which is which I don't believe. I think that's all a propaganda because what we what we're really talking about is a situation where where this this guy felt as though didn't matter what the status was, didn't didn't matter what lies they were telling. Will felt as though that she had been of, offended, and he was gonna be his knight, her knight in shining armor. Probably because, to a certain extent, I believe that he actually thought that he had lost that that ability to be because that she, you know. She she had emasculated him so much. So this was an opportunity for him to be her knight in shining armor to, to kind of now gain masculinity back. Now, would she, now can we technically say that that's her fault that he did what he did? Not really. Um, it's not no, her no. fault. You make your own choices. But, you know, your relationship has an impact on stuff. And the notion that she's saying she wasn't angry at Chris Rock. And that it doesn't go back to years. Because remember, Chris Rock, two years before that, two years before that, Chris Rock made that, when he hosted the Oscars, did the monologue yeah. joke where yeah. Jada Jada was boycotting the Oscars for, I think, due to a lack of black nominees that year. Yeah. And, uh, and Chris Rock said that her boycotting the Oscars was like him boycotting Rihanna's panties. You were never invited to begin with. Right, right. So there's nothing so, to boycott. You know, here's an interesting thing about that. I watched a few of the interviews because that's how I, I, you know, I stay informed. We do prepared here. You watched it with a lab coat and a pimp cane <laughs> and furiously jotting down notes. And my dick out. But that's yeah. a whole nother thing. So uh, how you do most things. You know, we're always talking about accountability, but there's no, no greater accountability than supporting us on the Patreon at patreon.com slash manschool202 helps us keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, that's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content for the show. Uh, we talk about a lot of game, a lot of technique, and we also archive all the old episodes starting from episode one. So if you love the show, 
and you want to support the show, come on over and join us at patreon.com slash manschool202. And if you can't do that, at the very least, do us a favor, like and subscribe below and tell your friends. And do all, do all of the above. Yeah. Base. Let's go. <laughs> but he, so what, what they said that after the Oscars thing that they spoke, and she said that she felt she basically apologized to him because she, even though she was making her stand, this was a situation where Chris Rock had not made the same stand as her and that she put all of this undue pressure on Chris Rock to stand up for her cause when he he kind of didn't. It wasn't his cause. And so she she created this situation as if, as if she was this righteous black woman in the context of standing up for injustice. And then it makes, so what it ultimately does, and this is a thing about, about black folks that I, I think it, it needs to be understood. It's like people will decide what your, what your place should be in, in terms of how you approach, how you approach um, your uh, racism and so on. And, and, and they feel as though it should be done in a way that the person who's viewing you mm. thinks you should be. So it, they'll go, what about Black Lives Matter? You don't, um, what happened when you, what did you say about the right? What, what did you say about the Asian hate? You didn't much, I don't have, I can choose to do what I want to do. I, I remember somebody was telling me, you know, we, we I was being, I was, uh, I think I was on Godfrey's podcast and we were talking to Yamanika and she was like, we didn't know so there's a woman who got like a million dollar contract coaching the WNBA. And she she said, we didn't know her name. How come we don't know her name? And then I asked her, well, do you know what her name is? And she mm. said, no. I said, do you know three? Can you name three women on the WNBA? She said, no. I said, so now I have to support the WNBA because you want me to. And if I don't support the WNBA somehow, I'm against black women. It's just an absurd argument. I don't watch, I don't watch baseball. It would be, I would be hard pressed. You don't watch the regular NBA. You don't care. I, I mean, I watch some NBA and I know some players. A little bit. Yeah. But yeah, I don't watch it, but I would be hard pressed to, I don't like baseball at all. I don't, I, I mean, it does Gret I don't watch hockey either. Does right. Gret Gretzky still play or no? He doesn't nah, play. Uh, he's just retired last year. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's been a little bit. It's been a Wayne little bit. Gretzky. <laughs> yeah. No, I think. I know, uh, I know, I know Gretzky. That's you know it. Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. And the last time he played was before the millennium. So, uh, you but, know. But I, I can tell you who boxed a two rounder you know, yeah. because I'm just not I'm just not into the, in that world. And somehow because of that, because I'm not in that world, somehow I'm not. So. There's there's a there's the black element of the fact that my my uh, loyalty to the race has to be expressed in the way that everybody wants me, which is which is absurd. Right. And uh, that's and but it's also, you know, it's also something that she's doing for her own publicity. I think it goes beyond race for her because everything okay. she's done is disingenuous. So I can't believe any of it because everything she has said so far, especially about this relationship is Oh, is constantly contradicted. In this interview, she says we've been separated, living separate lives, right. uh, hand motion apart. Make that noise. Right. There you separate go. motion. But the reality is you're not. By your own words, this is not us making it up. You did yeah, an interview yeah. with your husband or whatever you want to call him in 2020, the year 2021, rather. Right. And you're talking about your marriage and how you've worked through things and how, you know, you still you still have love for each other. And this is the delusion that toxic women get to have, toxic people in general, yeah. where you get to twist the words around. And, and, and she'll do that and say, well, you know, it's not I'm not lying. We are married still. We are married. Right. Right. But you're not living separate lives. You're right. not. That's right. just not true. On the right hand here, we got the truth and your lies separate. Right. Right. <laughs> And the reason you got to ask yourself why they stay in this marriage. And I and I I was talking to my girlfriend about this as we were watching this together. And she's like, why do they stay together? And I, yeah. it took me a second to figure out why. And I realized why they stay together. Uh, a couple elements to this one for Will Smith. I think there's a lot of elements. One races race has to do something with it. it there's not a lot of black power couples. Right. In the industry, you got the Obamas. I think I don't know who else would be a yeah. black. They were the other black power um, couple, 
Yeah, Jay Z and Beyonce. Jay Z and Beyonce. Denzel's uh, wife and him. Uh, I don't know who she is. In all honesty, uh, I can't even. Sam, Sam Jackson is another one that you know, but you know. I, I don't know who she is. They wouldn't even be a power I, I, couple. You, yeah, you wouldn't. You know, you I mean, you know, you know the black couple, power couple, like I know the WNBA. I get it, but maybe, yeah. but yeah, but I mean, I'm talking mainstream. I mean, this is like there. You got the Obamas, you got Jay Z and Beyonce, and you got Will Smith and, and, and Jada, and, Jada. and they're arguably the longest one. Yeah. So it means a lot to him, uh, his upbringing, you know, just being in the black community as a person of color. You don't want to have a separated family because that's such a stereotype that you want to break. You don't want that. You also don't want it personally for your family. That's a big deal. Uh, you can talk about the celebrity, the money that that brings that, uh, you know, he's a family man. That's a better image. That's more money for her. You got all that stuff. But also, let's be honest. Her stock is very low in the industry. She is a, on her own. She is a C-list yeah. celebrity. Do you understand? Her stock was based on Will Smith's stock. Will Smith's stock. So even yeah. though she doesn't love him, she has to stay stay there because guess what? Without Will Smith, you're not invited to the Oscars. Yeah. You're not going. They don't. Yeah. You're a C-list celebrity. You yeah. you your work has dropped down substantially in your you, career. You surely are not sitting in the front row. You're not. You're Will you Smith's plus one. That's what you are. Yeah. And that's not, you know, that's that's your lot in life. But that's why she continues this narrative when it's beneficial for her, which is which is horrendous. Who knows when Will Smith is finding out about this? I don't I don't know. Maybe this is news to him because you watch that Red Table talk. He's certainly under the impression they're still married. Yeah, Twenty six well, years and counting. Bad marriage for life. Crying? Why is he crying if it's not? And on top of that, the whole I saw the, the interview, one of the interviews, and she blames it all on. Like she was suicidal and she was this and you know her mother was her mother was a uh, was a her mother was a, a, a heroin addict and her father was a heroin addict and so she says how you know as a child not to feel safe and sound and not to know whether or not you you know like to to be actualized as a child to know but I and I I do get that but you're fifty one. You're 51 years old. You got the, you, and and you have all you have enough money that enough you resources and go yeah. and get this fixed. But you didn't get it fixed, and then your nonsense gets to spill over into the children's lives. You get you 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 made the kids nuts. There's all kinds of you screw your you screw your boyfriend's your your son's best friend. Your your you call it an entanglement. Every week we would every time you know they would get on the red table talk it would be some other nonsense they would then it was an open marriage then it wasn't an open marriage then we find out it was broken up but it wasn't he's never coming it's just lie after lie Look, I'm after exhausted lie. just as an onlooker I can't imagine what it's like to be right. married to her oh, yeah. oh, it's uh, but on on that side you talk about being 51 look all those things happened to her right I I do believe that she's had a traumatic upbringing. But Absolutely. none of that is an excuse to make up lies about the status of your relationship. Yeah. yeah. To to let or, us believe. Or, or stop talking about it. Nobody knows what's going on with Jay Z and Beyonce. Nobody is aware. If I mean, they had that because, one thing with the lemonade thing where. Well, that's not they, even. That's still just. I don't know what is that. That's they said that's about it, but Beyonce never said that's about him right, cheating. Right. 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 They even that is not. They never sat down at a table with a camcorder on. And started yeah. talking about all the other people they were fucking. Yeah. Like, so yeah. we don't know. You know, I made a statement last time when everyone was talking about Tiana Taylor and like, oh, how could somebody leave Tiana Taylor? She's so beautiful. How could somebody leave Shakira? And I said, you don't know their marriage. We don't know anything about the actual status of their marriage. And in this well, circumstance, here's what I know about their marriage. Everything that they have told me, which turns out lie. to be a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. And, and the, sorry. The, the other thing, when you, when you, Often you will, uh, I'll do a consultation with a guy and he'll say, he'll say, oh, you know, she's such a beautiful person. She's beautiful. To, yeah. And she's just, she's a high level. This guy said to me the other day, she's a high level, um, she's a high level woman. And I was like, well, she's, she, he says she's Muslim and she's very, you know, she's not. And I go, well, what do you mean by high level? Like uh -oh. people put this value on on what is on, a high level woman here? 
So, yeah, well, that's interesting. Well, I mean, I and if I if you ask me what a high level is, want somebody that's attractive, feminine, intelligent, uh, co- cooperative, appreciative, cooperative and, and kind, supportive, kind, you know? uh, pleasant to be around, right, right, compassionate. Yeah, that's a high level woman, not somebody it's nothing who. Nothing to do with your degrees. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with. I don't care if you a boss, bitch. I don't care if your pussy's pink and your booty hole brown. I don't care. It's, I, I was watching something the other day, and it, and uh, it was young, some young lady was on TikTok, and she was like, you know, I don't know what to get my man for for his birthday. She was like, suck his dick, like suck his dick, suck his dick, oh, suck every time you get a chance, suck his dick, so that you could so until he goes, oh no, I, I, I'm I'm good, I'm good, thank you. I go. Will be it don't cost much. It's the thought that counts. Suck his dick. <laughs> well, geez, let's play more of this because there's some more stuff that she goes into here that is absurd. Up the appearance of a committed married couple. They even faced a scandal when Jada had what she called an entanglement with a family friend. Neither let the public know they had already split. So I Stop that for a second. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Here's the thing. When they say she's a she's he's a family friend, he was her son's her son's best friend. And that kid was had all kinds of physical, all kinds of sickness and diabetes and all kinds of stuff. And she was like, you know, she said in another interview, it's just I felt, you know, I, I have such an uh, attraction to to wanting to heal people. I just want to heal. Yeah, you want to heal. But mm. well, I guess she did heal dick. that dick. That is help. You just said it. It's it's that. I mean, that's the way they, the the Native Americans used to heal people. So there is some I'm, I all I'm all for that type of holistic healing. Don't get me wrong. Exactly. Exactly. But here's the thing. I, I don't even I'm not even. This is such a level of nonsense that I'm not even yeah, bothered. Yeah. The least thing I'm offended is that she she fucked her son's friend, and that's not yeah, like yeah, that's that's number. That's, two. I mean, I mean, let's be honest. That should be in any yeah. other relationship. It would yeah, be the yeah, worst yeah. thing you could do, but in this relationship, it's yeah. on the back burner. Yeah, like you know, a family the, friend. It's a family. No, it's not. It's not your a family son, friend. Yeah, your son's best friend. So that's, you know what? When you go on Pornhub. Right? What do they put in? Yeah, mom, mom fucks um, son's best lot, friend. They don't go. There's a lot of that. There's a mom, lot. Of hot that. step mom fucks family friend. That's you don't see that. that. This is so exhausting watching this that uh, you might need a consultation. And if you need a consultation from me, hit me at dantenero.com. Click on consult. You can get me and kind of vent this out. That's right. And if you want a consultation from me, you can email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com and we can talk about how to fix your relationship and how to avoid all these toxic, awful situations. Um, so there's that. There's the lies about the relationship. There's the, 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 the lack of accountability about her own personal mental illness. There is the, the fact that you not only did you lie, but you perpetuated lies on lies on lies. Mm. You up until this book came out, you there's uh, and so we're supposed to believe this now somehow. And they, and they what did they what was the thing they said? Horrible marriage. Was it horrible? Marriage Bad marriage forever? for life. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, life. for life. How many Bad. times have I said this over and over again? If you have a to- if you're in a toxic relationship and you are in a situation where this marriage is now and and things don't mesh. You staying together for the kids is 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 really not an option and it's not an option because you teach if you're a guy and you have this toxic woman you're staying with what you do is you ultimately teach your son to 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 allow and tolerate toxic relationships within the confines of his own life. You teach him to be a pussy about it. And you teach your daughters to be toxic. So whatever the conflict is, if because if, even if the man is abusive, when a man is abusive, you're teaching the boy how to be physically abusive or emotionally abusive, and you're teaching your girl to put up with that behavior. It is not an option. This is such a fragile period, period of time when you're raising kids because you as a child, that your child looks at you 
as as a man, you are the model for manhood. And his mother or her mother is the model for 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 what a woman is. Because that's all we have as the model. And to t- to disregard that is so selfish and so disrespectful. But the, amazing. that's what she's all about. Look, it's selfish to release this yeah. book. Let's yeah. be honest. After everything that's happened to, to the marriage, her legacy, Will Smith's legacy, yeah. the, the embarrassment of the, the kids who are now adults, but still they have to deal with that. And that's not enough for you. Now you need to release a memoir and do a candid uh, a sit down, tell all interview. And that's why, uh, you know, she's doing these interviews for her so she can sell the memoir, which is worthy, uh, yeah. called worthy. And now you're going to drag them into it and then blame your husband. Blame yeah. Will, because that's what this is. It's going. I don't know why Will would say that we're married together. I don't get where he would get that idea. Maybe because he brought that up on that show. I made him go on and. Uh, or maybe she didn't make him go on it, but I, he brought up marriage on that show, and I didn't say, no, we're not married. I said, you know, bad marriage for life. 26 years and counting, he says, I don't stop that. Maybe because you're with him at the Oscars. Maybe because you never told anybody, and somehow it's Will Smith's fault. What she's doing here is throwing this on Will, and this is gaslighting. This yeah. is the definition yeah. of gaslighting, a term yeah. that usually women reserve for men. This is what it looks like when a woman is gaslighting. Yeah. Yeah. Period. That's what it is, and that's she's saying. Uh, I don't know why Will would. Uh, I don't know why Will would make that uh, suggestion. And then this. Um, but you know, I will definitely say mm-hmm. it's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. For a lifetime. Years and counting. Mm, we ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> So funny. So funny. We but somehow play. we're assholes. Yeah. Everybody else is asshole. We're assholes for, for a narrative that somehow that they're Something still married that. and it's a bad marriage. You told us this. Now, let's rewind. Let's let's look at this Will Smith thing. It's here's a guy who literally is living a lie. Or, or so so is she. She's living a lie with 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 zero accountability. But so is he. Oh, it's without a doubt. Without a so doubt. Long, you have created, you have fabricated an image. You fabricated an image to, to the world that this is who you are. You, 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 go on twi- uh, you go on Twitter or you go on TikTok and it's him talking about getting up and just make it a new day and you can accomplish whatever the, the, the stamina of his, of the, the, the course of his integrity and stuff. And nothing about you. You home, at, you a home straight bitch. You a home being a straight bitch. There's a video, Harry. Can you find this video where he, he, she's Jada is filming him in his house. Um, Jada's filming him in the house, and she's, and he says, "Look, don't stop just filming me in the house." Like, and she's like, this "I'll is find it. Hold on, yeah." So it's a, it's an interesting kind of dynamic, and this is I've said this a hundred times. You like you gotta put yourself first because if you don't, nobody else will. If you don't treat yourself with the respect and the understanding of the fact of what your value is, trust me, nobody else will treat you that way. If you're talking to a woman, if you're on a, on a base level, if you're talking to a woman and she is. She's being disrespectful and you're allowing it. You are saying this is what I deserve. Your your complicitness is saying this is what I deserve. Yeah, here we go. Found it here. And this is the video. So, Will, you know Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me. Without asking me, oh my goodness! If you could film Astaire, me, Astaire, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't, no, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, cause she don't just. She mm. helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another. My social media presence is my bread and butter. Okay, so you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't Ooh. just start. Roll. I'm standing in my house. Don't please just... watch a stare. At the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? Ah, uh, you just haven't.
Jesus Christ. Why would you post that still? And by the way, also further proof that was not that was not eight years ago. What's the date on that? Hold on, I'll find it because it's on a YouTube thing. But that, I I remember that coming out. It was that's fairly recent. That that wasn't put it like this. That wasn't eight years ago. No, that wasn't eight years. ago. No, that was fairly not eight years ago recent. because she wasn't doing the table talk eight years ago. So no. we know for a fact it wasn't eight years ago. So yeah. again, not separate lives. Not separate yeah. lives. Not separate lives. Now I'm doing us, Trump. They've helped us so much in the context of us of healing the hurt that we that we bestowed upon each other. So where's the where's the separate? Like you're lying in the privacy of your own home. You are creating lies and narratives in the privacy of your home where you don't even have to do that. You could just not. Even if you're gonna lie at the Oscars or you're gonna lie on the red carpet, why would you why would you create something like this? Because you're promoting your red table talk because this is your bread and butter and you don't care. Yeah, you don't care because it's for you and it only affects you and you don't give two shits about how it affects your family, how it affects your husband. You don't give a shit. And but here's again, going back to Will Smith, you know, this is not all on Jada. She's to no, to me a no, toxic person. But the fact is Will Smith, as you said, perpetuated this within the confines of his relationship. Absolutely. Absolutely. And here it starts out because guess what? It didn't start out like this. It's right. baby steps that build and build oh. and build oh. a thousand lies, a thousand gaslighting situations that he put up with until yeah. you reach the peak of it. I mean, this yeah. should have been over a long time ago. This yeah. should have been yeah. done. Her association, the entanglement. That's a lie. Yeah, that's yeah. a lie. The entanglement, a lie. It wasn't yeah. an. Stop calling it an entanglement. Don't be disingenuous. He called her out on that. Yeah. And but then he continued and continued. You and continue he, and this, you, is a, this, this is also a, a thing where a guy who do, who doesn't have the confidence in himself to stand up for himself will 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 push back a little and then and then and then, this is interesting because anytime we do consultations and you give somebody advice, they always you tell them what to do and they always do a version or a portion of what you do they they, yeah. they treat they treat their relationships like chlamydia right <laughs> they so, just take just enough to heal themselves but not enough the action enough, to not get it again just no just just enough to stop dripping and itching right but mm -hmm. they don't take the full seven pills so that you can clear it all out so and by the way, if you do want a consultation uh, for myself or Dante, Dante, you could reach at uh, on his website, DanteNero.com and click on consult. Or if you want one from me, you can email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com and we can save you from uh, having somebody ruin your the best moment of your life like Will Smith had. We can we can save you before that. If you just come reach out to us and you need a consultation. But sorry, Dante, go on. So he's he's 50 plus. She's, I think, 51, 52. Yeah. And literally, they have been making themselves miserable for, I would say, most of 25 97? years. 97? Now, now here's, 97? The crazy, here's the crazy thing. She talks about how um, uh, she was, she said she was in Baltimore. She had bought a house. She was renovating, overseeing the renovating, renovating renovation of the house. He, Will called her up and he said, guess what he said? He said, are you seeing anybody? And she said, no, I'm not. And he said, well, you are now. You're seeing me, right? Which was the, the reason why he got her. She talked about, she also talked about how, how uh, smitten she was by the strength that he portrayed, right? And then by just almost demanding her, well, you're seeing me right now. That kind of confidence is what, Somebody like this who's toxic like this, you have to take the reins because if not, but you what you don't uh, realize is that you have to whatever the level of the reins you take in a relationship, yeah. you have to maintain that the entire time and that yeah. and on the same level. And that doesn't by the way, I don't mean that you have to have your foot down. You have to be the no, king no, and no. they have to be support. That's not what I'm talking about. Whatever level of uh, comfort that that provides protection because yeah. it does provide protection that's sexy to a woman that will smith would do would do that because it shows confidence it shows uh yeah. strength value. courage value. value the problem is people get into these relationships and especially nice dudes and by all accounts i've heard will smith is a nice dude i don't know the guy um but 
I know that from my experience and the experience of my friends and a lot of people that I've consulted, nice dudes, even when they have strength, what happens is you care so much about protecting that person and giving them what they want that right. you start losing sight of having to give them what they need. And right. make no mistake yeah. about it, relationships are not j about giving. It's weird because we look at it differently than taking care of anybody or anything else that yeah. we prioritize. When your yeah. kids come to you and they, need, they want something, you don't give them what they want. You give right. them what they need. And you have right. to make the decision between the two. And we don't do that with our partners. We lose sight of that. You know, you, yeah. Especially when you're a nice guy, it's so hard because you listen to what she has to say and you take that as, as word. And you don't factor in the other aspects that they're dealing with uh, when you're dealing with a partner, a woman in the relationship that sometimes they're asking for things they want and not need and it becomes a problem because you give in so easily and that doesn't or mean you things, have to f things that they don't even want yeah that they say they that, want that they're not yeah. they don't even want and you have to discern that because in the moment they 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 think they want it i here's an example of that and, and bear with me on this dante uh, yeah my girl she wanted she was wanted to do brunch one day once one one sunday right. we get up and she gets it in her idea she wants to do brunch right right and i go okay um and then my my brain goes here's why brunch is a bad idea and i'll tell you why one we just had a conversation yesterday about saving money and brunch is expensive especially in this area in new york sure. brunch sure. is super expensive also, we just started doing keto a week ago. We can't eat anything at brunch. We can't have waffles. We can't have pancakes. We can't have any car, anything that brings croissants. you joy. No croissants. croissants. Nothing. Just the omelet. Right. Okay? Right. So we're going to spend 50 bucks to not eat the, the... Also, neither of us drink. We don't drink mimosas. We can't no drink mimosas. champagne. No sangria. No bellinis. You also told me you want to sleep in. Right. The, the next day. And all this I have to, and what I realize, you know, and I'm trying, and part of you has to go, well, I want to give her what what she wants. Right. And then right. I realize I have to discern. I have to code and go, what I, real, what I realize is she doesn't want to do brunch. She wants to go out somewhere. She wants to yeah. do something outside. But right. in all fairness to her, even she didn't realize that. It just manifests right. itself in the form of brunch. And this is not a bad person. This is not a toxic person that I'm dealing right, with. Right, right, right. It's just somebody who is going through emotions like any human being is. Sure. But the, the problem is your role as a man is that it's your job to discern. You're the captain. You have to discern what requests are, are valid and which ones aren't, even when it hurts their feelings. And that's a tough thing because you don't want to hurt their feelings. You right. love this person. and But that's the role of being a man. And it yeah. sucks. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. It's it's twenty four seven. You're never man's, done. Man school principle, and this is something that was beige for the black. Philip, you have to be strong enough to protect you and your sanity from her emotions. You also have to be strong enough to protect her from her emotions because the 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 fleeting flightiness of her own emotions and you have to be strong enough to protect the relationship from her emotions because as these emotions the, the emotions are coming in it's almost like a stream of conscious let's stay in no let's go to brunch no let's do keto no let's do that it, it's like none the things of that are contradicting the other things yeah and yeah. you don't know the first time it happens you like i've learned that i have to sometimes pull her aside or whoever I'm with at the time, pull them aside, you know, and go, hey, uh, all right, we're going to take a couple seconds here because you're giving me a, a couple things that are contradictory. So yeah. we need to sort out why you're doing it. But I, I just want to go to what you're saying when you're saying, you know, one of the principles is you have to protect uh, yourself from her emotions and her from her emotions. What about people who say, well, men have emotions. Why is this a woman thing? Why are you throwing this on a woman thing? You know, why Why are you suggesting that women are emotional? What would you say um, to that, Dante, if I was somebody but, trying to... Here's the thing. Men are emotional, but they're emotional in a different way. So one thing a man will do is you'll see a guy, like, uh, you'll see a guy be emotional um, as, uh, like, in road rage. Some dude cuts him off. Then if you're cursing somebody out. You you, you pull over, pull over, you motherfucker. I was da, 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 and you will do that. I'm not advocating that either. Uh, though the thing is, what you have to understand, what we're talking about is an ideal, an ideal situation where 
what we're talking about. What is it that as a man we endeavor to be? And what we need to, one of the most attractive things that we can be is unaffected. Unaffected, because if you are affected by any stimulus outside that you're shaken or something happens and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, what do we, you know, you know you can imagine this. Here's a, here's a great scenario. Boom, 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 boom. This noise downstairs. Baby, there's a noise downstairs. And your response is, oh my God, what are we going to do? You, uh, uh, you, I shit on myself. <laughs> you might as well pack your bags. This relationship is instantly over. So you have to be, you have the, the, the safety in the context of your ability to be, to have answers, to be, to create a level of safety and this level of comfort is to not be affected by the, uh, by every stimulus that comes out. So everything that comes to your mind, you don't say everything that comes to your mind, you don't do. And, and I, and I think the reality is, um, women find that attractive. I think that's based on the genetics of women wanting to feel safe with their man. But it's also part of it. It's like we're different. I, I'm, and I'm not saying that we're not equally as important. Men no one is saying many. one side is better. The problem is with the narrative is that people co-opt that and suggest that somehow men are better than women. That's not what we're talking about. But we are different. We're not yeah. the same. And that's OK. There are positives to both sides. Every war has been started by a man. No one is suggesting that somehow right, right. men are, are superior. It's just, but they're different. And to not acknowledge that just doesn't accomplish Safe. anything. And and to, 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 to deny 250,000 years of genetic material that is passed on because all of a sudden the social aspect and the way that we look at this, and I, I totally get it. I mean, we I don't believe that people are monogamous in any shape or form, but I think we make a choice to be monogamous. We make a choice to do certain things. And we could and I and I think if you it's just as important that if you give your word to do that, you should actually be, be held responsible for that. The problem comes in when there is an incongruency in terms of what you say. And if you're saying here's a here's a crazy thing. This is Will's part 100 percent if you are, if I, if your woman is coming at you and you are affected to the degree that Will Smith is affected to everything, like to, 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 to Jada's eye roll, that if, if she can set him off in the context of that, right. She's, she's, he's worthless to her mm. because if you can't handle me, how I used to say this all the time. If you can't handle your chick, how, what you gonna do when I when I when I climb through your window? It, you, mm. How do you how do you deal with that when you are affected in the way where you fall to pieces and it, because of the outside stimulus? And it's trying to make somebody happy who you can't make happy because that's what right. this was all about. The reality was it got to the point where Will Smith had a choice to make, and it was whether or not to slap Chris Rock. Or to sit in an uncomfortable car ride at home holding his Oscar in silence yeah. while his wife is, is angrily either chewing him out or giving him the silent treatment. And it was so painful that he chose option A to slap Chris Rock because to ruin his career was a better move than pissing this woman off and being stuck in an unhappy situation. And that's the situation you end up in where you when you give in to what she wants and try to please her. When she has no idea how to please herself. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what, um, Harry? Can you look up this clip? It says Will Smith. Uh, it should be Will Smith decides he's no longer gonna try to make Jada happy anymore. He has, okay, let me look it up here. Up. But what, what's what's crazy about this is that you know, and then the the, the other part is the lies, and I and and this is why. You know, I've heard guys, yo, you just lie to these bitches, just lie to them. You do whatever you got to do to get laid. What you do is, and, and we we talked about this the last episode when we were talking, we were talking to Chuck Nice. And I was, and he was saying, ah, you know, a lot of things I don't care about. So I don't care about standing up to say anything. And, and I'm not, and I'm not advocating that you have to stand up and make and, and create a problem every time something rubs you the wrong way. But what I'm saying is when you lie, you diminish your own self-respect, not just to you, 
but to everybody who watches you do it. Your incongruency makes you less valuable, not only to, uh, not only to everybody else, but to you, because you can't lie to yourself to say I'm an honest person when you know you're lying, even if you're lying just not to, to, to end up in a confrontational situation or when you're not willing to confront your woman about something, behavior that's uncomfortable and disrespectful. OK, so I think I have it here. I think this is from about. Uh, 2001, and so okay. uh, let's see here. So me and Jada was reflecting about reflecting. All right. love, and I asked her. I said, "What did she think was, you know, one of the biggest revelations that she had had about love?" She said that you cannot make a person happy, and I thought that was a real deep idea. You can make yeah, a person it is. smile, you can make a person feel good, you can make a person laugh, but whether or not a person well, is not Jada. happy is yeah. deeply and totally and utterly out of your control. I remember the day um, I retired. I literally said to Jada, that's it. I retire. I retire from trying to make you happy. I need you to go make yourself happy and just prove to me that it's even possible. And let me tell you something. That's the last time she respected him because yeah, yeah, when he yeah. laid the when he laid his foot down on that and what happened was it worked. It, it worked. worked. He brought her back in his life and uh -huh. then she started the same bullshit over again. Once he, he got settled he in, didn't check her. He, he didn't, didn't check, check her. her. He didn't yeah. stay retired and that's what happened. Yeah. yeah. And after we cracked the hell up, um, we started talking about, we came into this false romantic concept that somehow when we got married, that we would become one. And what we realized is that we were two completely separate people on two completely separate individual journeys and that we were choosing to walk our separate journeys together. But her happiness was her responsibility and my happiness was my responsibility. Yeah. And we decided that mm. we were going to find our individual, uh, internal, private, separate joy. And then we were going to present ourselves to the relationship and to each other mm. already happy not coming to each other uh begging with our empty cups out uh demanding that she fill my cups and the cup and demanding that she meet my needs it's right. unfair and it is, it's kind of uh, unrealistic and can be destructive to place the responsibility for your happiness on anybody other than yourself here's why he's also full of shit too by the way right Right, right, right. I'm getting ready to say that. Yeah, sorry, we're bumping heads here, but I think you were thinking the same thing. Uh, yeah. Hey, that's great advice. That's all great. Did you include yeah. the uh, step where you guys had a trial separation and you were fucking other people? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you left that part out. You left that part right. out that you had to separate and she was having an, uh, an entanglement with uh, your son's best friend. And listen, all that's fine if you're cool with it, but when you're doing this rah-rah, uh, hippy-dippy shit, this uh, deep... Yeah. Deepak Chopra stuff where you're trying to motivate other people, maybe include the steps where everything went really fucked up and it got really bad and you literally had to separate. Not that you just worked it out, quote unquote, yeah. worked it out, not yeah, including the became, fact that you this became so obvious. And now you have a statement on this. And what happens is there is a, a particular cosmological uh, inner feeling of how you should do things. I'm doing my deep pocket. Oh my god! I'm oh. certain the cosmology of emotions. What together. you have to do is because remember you that you are one with the universe, and sometimes it's okay to fuck your son's best friend. <laughs> like, just go fuck yourself. I'm 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 pissed at her, but I'm also pissed at him because I forgot about this type of shit. I remember seeing this video yeah, yeah. when it yeah. first came out, and I go. Yeah, yeah. Man, I respect that dude. I thought that this yeah, relationship yeah. was fucked, and that's why they're together because he put his foot down, and he, and even in the interview, like the red table, he kind of puts her to the fire a little bit, yeah, because yeah. she goes entanglement, and he calls her out on her shit, and goes, "What do you mean entanglement? Yeah. Just say what the fuck it is." 
you were in a relationship with this guy. Even that is kind, but let's not call it an entanglement because what she does is she tries to do semantics, right? Play the semantics game and tries to use verbiage that's convenient for her. Oh, it's an entanglement. So she doesn't have to face the reality. But anyway, whatever. They were both, they both. Now, now there's something about this too. It's like, since I, I was doing, you know, I started watching her interviews and one of the things she talked about was her mom and her dad both were, 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 were heroin addicts. And uh, this, the, you know, heroin addicts have this thing where the only thing they give a fuck about is getting high. That's all they care about is getting high. And so everything else is secondary, which how. Hey, I got a school play today. Can I get high? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Can I All get right, high? then never mind. Can I get high? Can I get high? What's no, what's no. crazy about that is she learned how to be a mother from her mother. She learned Oof, wow. a person to that she didn't have to be accountable for everything. Only thing that whatever her drug she was chasing, which was validation or or control or 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 that she just wanted to be unhappy. She found that drug and she chased that drug. She chased that high every day. Instead of learning what not to do from her mom, all she learned to do was not heroin. Yeah, she didn't exactly. she didn't separate any of the other lessons. She's a fine woman. Right. She just was a heroin addict. No, she was an yeah. unaccountable person, unable to maintain happiness and a decent relationship. But yeah. that so Jada Pinkett Smith is a heroin addict who yeah. doesn't do heroin, who exactly. never did heroin. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Just it got what we used to call she got dope fiend ways. You know, she's stealing your dignity. She's not stealing your TV. She's not stealing your money. She's stealing your dignity on a day to day basis. Here's a, here's something that I, this is something I wanted to talk about, too, that I, I've been thinking about all week um, that I think is interesting. In any relationship, there's always somebody who likes the person more. Right. One person likes the person more and is more has more stake in the relationship than the other person. What's really interesting about that is, is the person that likes the person more reaps the higher benefit from the relationship. Even I, I, I like that. I got your, your eyebrows going because mm. this is a, this is an interesting. Comment. So what I'm saying is if you are the, if you are the person that likes the person more, Um, think about the, uh, let's say, let's say we go to, let's, we, we go to, uh, to great adventure, right? Right. Which, uh, we go to six flags, which is interesting because six flags is a, is a symbol for, uh, white supremacy and racism. Interesting thing. Just man, it always ends up being a fucking, (laughs) I'm so, I hate that when that happens. Listen, if you turn a Snickers, uh, bar upside down. It's all about storming the Capitol. It's always, <laughs> it always ends up being. <laughs> Wait, can you, can you, can you, let me see. I'm, let me look that up because I want to, I want to finish this point, but um, can yeah. you look that up? What, what the, is the, the six the, flags? Yeah, I'll look yeah, it up yeah, while, you, while you, while so, you so, so here's it. Let me tell you something. Bugs Bunny, if you play him backwards, he says oh, white yeah. power to Daffy Duck. That's what it's all about. <laughs> That's why he was helping Elmer Fudd hunt uh, Daffy Duck because of his black be duck skin. Daffy was the black duck, and he's the one that got yeah. shot in the face yeah. all the time. Yeah, you Let's duck lover. Bugs Bunny would call everybody <laughs> duck lovers. So, um, the okay. So let so let's say you go to a, you go to Six Flag, and you go on this roller coaster. The roller coaster. What is the 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 most interesting and the most fun you can have on a roller coaster is the one that is the fastest, right? The highest, the tallest, the fastest. The one that is most did you, did you get it or no? Uh, I I didn't I I'm sorry I'm looking at it now. Uh, let's see no I keep I'm still looking for it. Okay. I see so a story about Six Flags finally taking the Confederate flag down in 2017, but that's a whole other thing. Okay, don't I mean don't worry about it. It's just, it's a symbol. It's a it's a uh, KKK symbol, but that's a whole other thing. Anyway, um, but the so the the roller coaster that is the most. It, it gives gives you the most fun is which is which roller coaster the tallest the fastest the the longest the 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 one with the highest dips and the one that the the one that really tosses you around so the joy comes from 
the the expression of emotion on a higher on a more intense level right so mm. if you um the person who is more in love reaps reaps an, an emotional joy at a higher level because of the fact everything is that everything is at high stakes right so what i'm uh, for example if a if the, if the woman is the one that likes the guy more right she um she calls you and she wants you to call back right when she calls you to oh, I wonder where he's at where where is he when is he going to call me back there's more joy when he does the confirmation when he calls back and he confirms that hey what's up how you doing blah 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 whatever right the the fact that you feel as though you might lose the person that the relationship is a higher stake so the love that you feel is more intense the the joy that you feel is more intense but the also the pain that the, the that that up and down that yo-yo feeling of the body is just is the same thing like a roller coaster and we enjoy that we reap more of a benefit from that because the whole relationship is more intense whereas if you're in a in a kitty a kitty ride in a teacup, right? You you you're sitting in the teacup, kind of smoking a cigarette. You going around real slow, and you it just you don't get any of that joy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do understand when we're dis when when you're the when you're the person who is uh, less invested in the relationship. You you re receive less of the joy because you have less of the the. You have less of a of, of a commitment or investment in the relationship in every and think about this in every aspect. You know mm -hmm. when you when you miss when you come home and your girl misses you and you come home and you leave and you go where have you been what are you doing like that eagerness of the fact that you are emotionally invested is gives off much more of a payoff than the person who is like you know I could be in this relationship or not. I could end this relationship tomorrow and I'm fine. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a merry-go-round with without the horse that goes up and down. Mm. But there's always that dynamic of one person liking some the other person more than the other person. Well, listen, we you know, if you want to learn how to avoid this type of stuff, uh it, this type of situation, you want to be better, know when to cut it off, uh you know, reach out to us. Follow us on Patreon, patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we talk about all the game, the technique, the bonus content. If you've enjoyed this, join us over there. Uh, we do a lot of bonus content. Plus, we uh, archive all the episodes of Man School 202, starting from episode one, all at patreon.com slash manschool202. Yeah. Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolutions being podcasted. Yo, I love y'all. Don't forget the Patreon. Don't forget the support. Um, and let's, yo, thank you. Thank you all for listening. This really means a lot that y'all support us. Peace. We out of here. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.